And the winner's hoes, my man. Speech. Yo, toast to Lizzo, man. Shout out to Lizzo. So uh, Liz. Yeah. Uh, bro, let me tell you how dumb I am for the longest. I thought Lizzo's IG name was Lizzo Beat King, and then I realized she said like Lizzo be eating, and I was like, oh, this is wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I didn't yeah, think that she would make a joke like that, but yeah. Actually, uh, it, it's, it's, it's actually funny. Yeah. It's on brand, yes. Yeah. And I guess I didn't want to think that way, so it shows growth by me. Yeah, so uh, Lizzo uh, got Lizzo found beat. herself in some hot water. Uh, a few weeks ago, <laughs> be, uh, I don't know why that's lukewarm. Called. She got yeah. some lukewarm water a couple weeks ago after she uh, put out a new song. Remember that song? Oh, uh, rip! Put out a new song, but then the song she used the term spaz. Uh, spaz is usually used in songs to say you know I'm about to go off and wild out, uh, yeah. you know, lose your mind, whatever it is. But spaz is also able to be viewed as it. Wow, that's an ableist term. It's an ableist term. Ableist, as uh, Joe Button said. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, so, um, spaz is an ableist term, and it deals with, uh, again, again, I should have looked it up completely, so I'd be right about this. But it oh, cerebral palsy. Yeah, yeah, cerebral palsy and uh, something about spastic something. I can't remember exactly oh, what yeah. the word is. But it is viewed as an ableist term within that community. And so, uh, she got a lot of flack for that. Uh, you saw stuff about, you know, disappointing fans, or people like, yo, do better. And um, to her credit, she actually did apologize. She has since re-put out the song without the word spaz in it. And um, that's a lot of growth because there's a lot of artists that would say, screw that, I'm not doing that. And um, I do want to give her props and credit for listening to uh, the concerns of that community and actually doing what she could to try to make a change and try to make them uh, feel better. That's a really big thing to do. Like I said, a lot of people... Probably wouldn't have done the same thing. Or, you know, like, at the bare minimum, they would have left the song out. They may have just gave y'all an apology. Damn, that sucks. My bad. Sorry. I'm about to say, that's all she would have did. She actually went above and beyond to really try to cater to that community and to, like, really try to make sure everybody feels inclusive. Included. And and that is a really big thing. So uh, cares about our fan base. That's really that. Yeah, yeah, that that is cool. So, yeah, definitely uh, shout out to Lizzo, man. Lizzo B. King. Yeah, shout out to her, bro. (laughs) B. B. King. I don't know why. I was like, maybe she played a movie. Yeah, like... Maybe it was an old Instagram. She was like, she made beats back in the day. Bro, yeah. Lizzo is a multi hyphenate. Let, yeah. let us not, let us not be that killing us. So, yeah, shout out to Lizzo. Um, okay. I'll go next. Um, I want to give my toast to. You might give it to Wancho? Yeah. I'm just thinking, looking at my toast. <laughs> looking, looking, looking at my notes. <laughs> I see Wancho's name right now. He's like, you Gary trying to struggle with reading, so that's why I'm trying to bail you out. No, Wancho, I got is the last name. Bernardo <laughs> Gomez. Let's go, yeah. No, go man. So I wanted to shout, shout him out for making his acting debut in uh, the movie Hustle, which is on Netflix. Um, he stars alongside um, Adam Sandler. Um, it's just a really good, um, I guess you can consider it an underdog film. Um, just a good movie. So it's really just a salute to him. Not much to say there, but um, I can't lie. Before this, I didn't really know too much about him. I know he's on the Utah Jazz now, but really just salute to him. And I hope this is like the start of something, a, a good new chapter in his life. Um, and that... Um, much more success, so salute to him. You know, when you said that's who you're gonna toast to, I was like, I was gonna jokingly like a dick say like the NBA player, haha. Yeah. I didn't know this guy was in that movie. And yeah. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. And you gotta be, you gotta be really in the weeds in the NBA to know him because he's like a rotation guy. Yeah. He's not a star. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, because honestly, actually, that's you know, why I was surprised he's in that. It's movie. not even the person I'm thinking about. But the guy in the Knicks, he's looking at Willie. Yeah, it's, that it's, guy. It's, oh, it's too, it's too okay. hard to go miss. Yes. Okay, that's the one I. So one show is the one that's okay. that's in the movie. Yes. Yeah, the one where you the next. Oh damn! Charlie. But he did a pretty good job. Oh, that was yeah. a real basketball player. I mean, the movie. movie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was an actor before that. That's how much I knew about him. I, mean, I, know I have not seen the movie, but I did hear he did a good job. And shot him, bro. How the hell did he get that? Movie? That's what I was like. I was like, hold on. Right, right. like, Wait, he's a real. So I mean, you know, look at rates. Look who we gonna pay. Watch how we take a small check. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix is downsizing their movie expenses. That is a fair. Okay. Would you want a white savior movie where he's saving a black basketball player from Europe or something like that, or would you want? To oh, do that's the final movie. movie. Yeah, international, like, international player. He go out and stay. I just thought, wasn't Boban in the movie? Yeah. yeah. Why couldn't I just thought Boban would have been there? Hell no, Boban got charisma, but I, bro, I, I, know, right? yeah. Yeah. I think if he did with some African dude, it probably would have been a more powerful. Would have, be honest. It would have felt like a typical white savior story. It oh, probably, you're right. But like right. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler's trying to one you person could've, who can. You could have put, what's the dude? Why is he cool? I'm not yeah, trying to be mean. He's cool. You could have put Kyle Yes, you could put the Japanese oh, in there. Black Japanese. Yes. That's a great idea. You're right. You don't find those every day. That's a great idea, bro. Fair. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, bro. That is a great idea. That's why they, I think that's why they did that. In my opinion. Because I feel like if he did another white saving, we would be like, bro, really? No, no, no. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, 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 that's a great idea. Y
It's still kind of white savior. It <laughs> is, but I mean, at least he's saving a European guy, I guess. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't I know. I'm not trying to say I'm probably I guess Jokic's rate anything. was probably too high at this point. Mm -hmm. You said Jokic's rate? <laughs> or Lucas? That man's too, too goofy. That man's too goofy. Lucas. How's Juan Cho's English? I played Luca's English. Juan Cho's English actually, he has some jumps yeah, in there. there so Luca's English is a little broken. Chris Nash, he don't play anyway. Oh, shit. bro. Yeah, but I think they want somebody to think like smooth English. Smooth. I feel oh. like if it's a little Juan too broken, it might not work. Smooth, smooth, but it was okay. Nah, I don't know if he was acting because I've never heard him in real life. I'm about to say, I think with Luca, I've heard Luca trying to make a joke like one time and like dude looked at him like, all right, this is not funny. <laughs> he nodded his head and was fine. Yeah, it's one of those things like that typical language barrier where it's like, Luca cool as hell, but you know, he's like, he's, I think he's talking like Mario talking about a jump shot. Like, you never miss. <laughs> <Something> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you exactly. got racist as hell doing it. I'm but sorry. Yeah, America, 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 <laughs> America, everyone have money. <laughs> we have no money. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you know, we try to do with dudes. With dudes like that, they usually find when they're, like, speaking to people in, like, closed yeah, settings yeah. and, like, just small conversations, but you put them on, like, a large stage. Yes. It may be a lot. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, bro, no, I'm, I'm glad you did look, it would overshadow I'm glad, I don't know. I'm glad I got a, you know, got a chance. I'm glad. Like, cool. I'm, 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 I'm fucking around. I like that. Like that. It's cool. Yeah, I, want, I, want, I actually want to watch that movie. It's not a chance. It's, it's a solid movie. Solid. All right, shout out to the Hernan Goodlands fan. So, I know his brother. All right, shout out to the, damn Wait, his brother's in the league? Yeah, that's the one I knew. He played the Knicks. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. So, two, go two Hernan Gomez, two, uh, like, 40,000 Wait, so they're they not Latino? They're from yeah. Spain. They're white Spain. They're white Spain. Oh, they're like, oh, they're so, they spicy white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shakira. Shakira, got it. Mm -hmm. Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shout out to Michael. Her <laughs> voice wild. <laughs> well, about apparently, she, she carries like the biggest star in the world. Like I ain't even, like internationally, she's yeah. like dumb. Yeah. I, I know she, she was like, yeah, she, bro. I mean, if you could, if you speak Spanish, you could bridge the English barrier. You will always be like bad money, big shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bad money, shit. I, mean, I wanted to go on a Bad Bunny tour. I don't even speak Spanish, nigga. Oh, I'm just saying, bro. Oh, you definitely about to do Super Bowl next year. Nigga, oh, and I'll be happy as hell. Yeah. Sitting there just vibing out the bar. I love just not understanding. I, I be saying, oh, yeah. just I feel bad, though, because like, I be singing a song. I know I'm saying it not right, but like, you know, you want to sing I read the lyrics before, and I don't want to no more. It's too much work. It don't hit the same. It's too much work. No, it don't. It don't translate the same. Like, some of his lyrics actually be wild. I think be cussing like shit. Bro, like, damn, Bad Bunny. You know, you don't understand it be kind of perfect. Like, I listen to the lyrics to Mia, uh, Mia, don't him and Drake. Yeah, you look. English, it don't, it don't feel the don't same. It just don't feel the same. I'm going to give my toes to uh, Shakira. Shout out to Shakira. Shakira. I, love Shakira. Her, actually, bro. I used to be in love with her when she performed at, at the Video Music Award in 2001. <laughs> that put me in her music. music. She was shaking the shot. Watch her performance in 2001. She shook the shot her ass that song The Torture Us. I had crushes on girls by then, so yeah, that's bro, cool. She was a crush. I was eight. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give my toes to Mario, the R&B oh, singer. Oh, all right. I see what you're doing. My guy, Mario. Sorry. Mario Shout out to Baltimore. 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 But uh, yeah, he had a versus uh, against Omarion the other day. Hey, back. Oh, that's what showed up. And there. to me, it was kind of oh, like, uh, reminded me of like the, um, was, the 68 okay. Jets beat the Colts in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl three. Big under, underdog story. Because I think everybody. Nah, it was a locks against this set, nigga. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. Right. Right. Exactly yeah. what it was. It was a lock against this set. <laughs> Connor uh, Goliath versus David Logan. I'll be real with y'all. The house. Niggas was talking about he was Goliath. Oh, my God, they got 10 songs. I think they're like, bro. I'm close, bro. Uh, All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, man. <laughs> like, a lot of people saw that Mario's going against Omarion, and, and I know I was like, I mean, Mario's talented, but Omarion got drinks, you know what yeah, I mean? But, I, both of but one thing, okay, one thing yeah. we learned with Versus, and Dante made a good point, because Locks, uh, Locks, 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 they, uh, did a Versus in Dipset, like, last year. Like if you can, if you were just playing off an iPod or like off your iPhone, yeah. different hit, oh, Mario, it's right. different. But yes. when you performing, that's yeah. a whole that's different. different. I love me some Mario songs. Not gonna so, lie, listen, Mario. I love. Like, I've always been a Mario fan, but I'm not like a crazy hard Mario yeah. fan. I always thought he was super talented. I always assumed Mario was kind of like a baby usher, where he was he could oh. dance and sing, like sing, like S A N G. No, not not Usher. Maybe Chris Brown. It was no, no. It's actually disrespectful when you. Uh, Mario can't say. Let me be honest with you. That was the biggest I thing. Know, I ain't even it turns out he can't. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about like early yeah, on. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it was yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, they, no, not right now, yeah. obviously. No, that's what they're right yeah. So I thought the same way. So when I saw this and uh, Mario started performing, I was like, wait, uh, Mario I can't say? Like, and then Mario, I knew two Mario Mario songs. I knew um, it, uh, I know, it Just a Friend, man. Let Me Love You, and that was it. I didn't know none of his 18 or songs. Oh, but so they all sounded to somebody else. But Nicki Minaj? 
Oh, he did that one. I forgot about that song. Yeah, a couple of times. I'm not saying Amari actually has probably more songs. I know, but my point was, I enjoyed all those songs, even though I didn't know, because he was singing the shit out of him. He can sing. Yeah, show me shit. It's not dead, bro. And Amarion got it in there. He was performing songs I liked, but he just won. He sounded bad, and he was doing all his weird watermelon dancing. He was for people that want him to do that. He looked dumb as shit. He looked dumb as shit. He's funny to do it. Even when he was doing like the R&B, Mario's a... Same type of R and B part. He wasn't doing all, all that right. extra shit. He was so here's the thing thing about it. Mario can't dance. So since he can't, yeah. he can't dance. Yeah. Well, he can hit the two step. He can dance he's a little bit, but he, he can't, can't dance. Oh, Mario's a great dancer. Yeah. I made sure I give him that credit. He's a great dancer. Cause Mario can't dance. If you know you can't do that. Got to put some show effort in yeah, there. Yeah, like yeah. with the locks and dip sets. The locks knew they didn't have <laughs> pop singles like dip yeah, sets. Yeah, so they them niggas like, yo, we going to kill this street shit that we got. <laughs> Nigga, you know how many times I've gone back and listened to that Who Shot You Freestyle since the oh, locks and dip sets. That's where it comes bro, up bro, on my Instagram. So like, I love song. that joint yeah. so much. I listen to it on other side of music, bro. bro. I, was about to say, I listen to the concert version. I know. I just buy goddamn some fucking Timberlands ever. That shit. Nigga, they niggas did that concert in shorts and Tim's. Right. That's how real it is. <laughs> but yeah, it just goes to show you that like performing is an art. Oh, no, bro, you definitely. gotta care. Breath and control, all that stuff. Niggas been saying that for years. And honestly, like sometimes it comes down to just circumstance. Because Omarion put himself in the right position. Whatever happened with B2K, and he got a push. And he got pushed to being that star. Mario just didn't get that push. Yeah, called his ass out today. Yeah. But it was Jay Love called his ass out. So like, basically, like, like as oh, far as talent goes, Mario could be in that same spot Mario is now. Just the circumstances were the same. Yeah, yeah, so I just, you know, shout out to Mario. That was talent. That's why Mario's not talented. Oh, Mario no, is not talented. I'm not talented. He got hits. He be just. He did the same thing a lot of these dudes do. They get a verse and they bullshit. Like, yeah. bro, like. For verses, you will always get a bump in your strings regardless of what you do. So, fine. Especially but, if there's any type of. Contention between you and the other guy, yeah, like, because then they're gonna come for your neck. So, bro, you yeah. always get a bump in strings. But the biggest thing is, you, bro, it's a show. You gotta give the people a good show. Like, and when they did a Millennium Tour, I've never seen people complain about that. So I don't know why he was half-assing on that joint. Bro. Sure, bro. I guess it was Thursday. He wasn't doing the work. But yeah, shout out to Mario. But yeah, shout out to him. And I've never seen anybody stop drop after a versus, but Mario, and damn, bro, it's bro. bad because especially after J Bug called him out, like how you said yeah, too. Oh, like, that, that that exposed a lot of shit. Biggest, bro, I mean, well. I ain't gonna lie, Dipset stock kind of dropped, but I mean, Dipset, that's if you had stock on Dipset in the first place. Yeah, so, about to say, it doesn't mean the biggest thing with Dipset, the niggas aren't friends, so that's why you kind of lost that battle. A lot of that they also got their own, you know, they all got their own shit. Yeah, yeah, but even none of them, like, they really came to care. Like, they all suck. Like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm about to say. Like, none of them, like, bro. Cam got hit. Cam could have came out there and gave us a great show. I was thinking versus two, it's just like, yeah, if you come in there and bullshitting. You gotta, you have to at least know what your opponent's gonna do. Yeah. You gotta call them for it. Are y'all gonna be bullshit? Are y'all gonna be serious? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Actually, no, I'm pretty dumb. Cause I like, I like that animosity, that tension. Yeah, like, yeah. you can tell Mario and Mario, they were playing with each other, but I know what Mario did. I don't know if they were playing with no, Mario. Mario was was getting getting I didn't watch it, but the clips that I saw, it looked no. like Mario came out there first. I'm gonna give you a flower. Then when he pulled out that B2K yes. color bag, I was like, oh, that's the game well, you want? Yeah, well, that. Mario did that first. Uh, Mario was trying to Mario at first. Like, Mario was, and I was like, damn, Mario, first guy, I thought he was trying to bully Mario. But then as you watched it and you saw Mario was like, Mario was already winning. Mario was like, all right, nah, nah, I'm gonna little bro you. Mario bought, what's his name? Jeremiah out there and Tank. He was like, and yeah. Mario was coming at them too, like, oh, knee hard. Y'all think it sounds crazy. <laughs> My biggest thing is, I at least respect and bring out niggas that can't sing. Because yeah. he can't. So, <laughs> but he didn't want to. Actually, Jeremiah's song. Uh, bro, Jeremiah was so I was about to say Jeremiah. You're talking about Tank. Tank is Tank's song, man. It was funny. Uh, we'll get into the top down. Ain't Tank a songwriter too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Tank probably got a better pen than the voice. But, no, his voice is good. Yeah, I'm saying. Time. Jeremiah came out and said, yeah, Mopey's my dog. I like him. And then this man Mario was like just cooking him while he was singing, dog. Bro, you got to take this seriously. Even though I enjoyed beef up there. Bro, the best, the best verses to this day, the joint that would never be top. It's Gucci Mane and Jeezy. And it's that. because them niggas literally the hated each other. Was I'll watch that shit like this. I'll watch this whole show where I was like, oh my god. I was like, yeah, we'll go down yeah. there. Bro, especially when Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane got to be the freestyle that he wasn't supposed to. Not that he wasn't supposed to. He did the freestyle where he literally talked about killing oh, his yeah. back friend. Yeah. And then he kept, we smoked on that Pookie Loaf back tonight. Yeah, I was like, you dead ass. We was all waiting for him to say it the whole night. Yeah, they got together and they did so I said that. Bro, yeah, you right. I ain't gonna lie, that's a dad lost respect for Jesus. But, that's good. They still don't fuck with each other. They just keep getting uh, nah, yeah, nah, 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 yeah, but you see, Jeezy went like grown man. Nah, I want to street shit. I wanted him to be Mr. I don't care about that song. I feel 
like Jeezy would have been chill the whole time. Gucci came to be wild and Jeezy yeah. was like, Gucci was going to be real with you, man. But I want Jeezy. Jeezy was one of my top three favorite rappers. I don't want him to be with no bitch. All right, he came. I'm sorry, he came in on some soft shit. Hey man, you wanted to be like, oh yeah, you look at and said somebody else is gonna get your ass. Niggas, yeah, something. But I mean, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people Jeezy get in. They usually don't end well for Jeezy. They don't. The other rapper kind of went. Rick Ross when he beat with Jeezy, was he kind of? Bro, Jeezy. I don't even remember that. I forgot. Jeezy was so stupid. Yo, Jeezy literally beat everybody on the low. I feel like it was never like big. I just feel like all his beef was like real shit. Why did he beat with Ti? Why did he beat with Ti? I don't even know. He was beat with a nigga Jody Breeze that was in uh oh what's it? Young Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Yeah, but I guess it was like some stupid stuff where Jeezy went through the hood. He had Keisha Cole with him. He went through some blood territory. And I think Jeezy like a cripple, or whatever. And so yeah, Jody Breeze like, remember I had to save you, nigga. And it was like, oh, so everybody he just apparently goes on my nigga Jeezy. But anyway, he was he got him and Fifty said a fuck just a lot of people. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Fifty called him out for being fake to BMF. And young Jeezy was the original nigga that was always with Meech and all the other shit. Cause that's how Jeezy got in a few with Ross. He was like, yeah, how you gonna call your shit BMF? Yeah, damn, bro, Jeezy, I don't know, man. I don't feel the same way, bro. We're going out and fucking hip-hop just beef, though. Just random music. Damn, that's smooth.